Greetings, and praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. We are continuing to consider the people who were present at the birth of Jesus. And today we want to look at the wise men. So often we think about the wise men as being three wise men, but the Bible really doesn't tell us how many there were, just that there were three gifts, the gold, the frankincense, and the myrrh. Now, there are a couple of things that I think are the most significant realities about the wise men being there in Bethlehem uh, when Jesus was born. The first one was that they were foreigners. Just like last week, we considered the shepherds who were, in a sense, outsiders because they were looked down upon. They were part of the people of God, but they were looked down upon. These were people who were outsiders because they didn't belong to the people of God. And the coming of the wise men to be there at the birth of Jesus reminds us that God's plan of salvation is for all people. That might seem not such so significant for us because we take it for granted. But in the early part of the church, that was something very, very important, that all people were to be part of the saving plan of God. But the second thing that I think is very significant about the wise men is their humility, their desire to find God. And they trusted the sign that God had given to them, which was the star that they observed rising in the east. And so they went in order to seek the, the child Jesus. And they weren't deterred. Both when the star disappeared from view, they continued to try to find out where the infant king of the Jews was going to be born. So they went to the palace because they figured, well, if it's a king, you know, where do you go to find a king? You go to the palace. And from there, they were directed to the place where Jesus was. And again, they saw the star and they found the baby Jesus. Now, again, they were looking for a king. And what they saw didn't seem very kingly, but they believed in the sign that God had given to them to show them where the king was to be born. And so they offered this baby in very simple uh, surroundings, the gifts that they had brought for the infant king. And so it's an example for us to remind us to follow the signs that God has given to us. They are oftentimes very simple, like the wise men. It wasn't a shouting. God didn't shout a message to them. They had to be attentive. They had to be listening when they saw the star. And that they followed that even when what they saw at their arrival maybe was very different than what they were expecting. They still believed in what God had provided for them, and they put their faith and their trust in God, which is, again, something that we need to do, to put our faith and trust in God. God has come in very simple realities. He has come in a very humble way, and we are to believe that God is saving us through these very humble means in the church, in the sacraments, all these very simple things that God has given to us for our salvation. So with the coming of the wise men, we see, first of all, uh, that all people are called to be saved, but we need to follow the signs that God has given to us, to follow the path that leads us to Jesus and ultimately to our salvation in heaven. Thank you very much and God bless you.